Hey there guys, Breno here and following on for another video I just recorded, I'm going to show you how to make a soul shard mob farm. So let's pop ourselves into creative. Okay, very very simple and um, we're going to go out on a nice piece of flat land over here. This is just my one of my test wheels. So I'm just going to pop ourselves down here. Okay, we're now going, going to set up the soul shard, uh, basically the mob farm. So we pick a single block, we say we're going to say, okay, this is where our middle block's going to be. If we go one, two, three, four, above from that block, okay, our soul shard cage is then going to pop straight on top. Our soul shard's going to go in, which is going to spawn a load of skeletons. And we're going to put a lever straight on top of that. And then we'll wait for them all to die. Now if we just, two seconds, just turn the sound off while they're dying. I am on the new mob pack version by the way. Okay, so we've got our soul shard. This is four blocks from that block right, which we just deleted, which I didn't really mean to do. Okay. So our block is right there. We have that four blocks. So now if we go to the soul shard spawner itself and we say, okay, we're four blocks here. We need one, two, three, four at the side. One, two, three, four at the side there. And then if we go over to the side here, add a lever, take that lever off, put that lever down. Then from this, we go one, two, three, four. And then what we do is we add a block here and add a block there. We got our red alloy, our red, uh, we got our red alloy wire. We place our red alloy wire. Now mobs are spawning, so let's make sure we turn it down. Make sure we turn it on peaceful for certain reasons, so they don't annoy me. Okay, so they're there. Okay, and you can see this is trying to spawn, but it's not. So the red alloy wire is coming straight up here. We are using some of the air blocks here, but that doesn't matter. For now, we can then place our red alloy, red alloy wire coming across. So then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go one, two, three, four blocks from this block to make sure we have four blocks on the inside of our mob spawner. Okay. So now we're going to drop this down like this. So it's sort of a cage. I am going to do the whole video. Uh, on camera, I'm not going to do any cuts. Uh, the only cut I might do is when I'm just finishing this farm off. Okay, so now we're going to hit this hitbox. We're going to come along, and I'd say if you're going to do this, use a jetpack. It really does help. Okay, so we're doing exactly the same thing where we added four blocks onto that side. Basically, you have to make sure there's four four blocks in each direction going from your um, soul shard spawner. Okay, so we can now remove these blocks. We don't want these here. Um, we don't want our skeleton saying, hey, we can jump on these. No. Make sure you add another block on this front. So you have five blocks coming out from here, but then you have to remove these four blocks from the soul shard to make sure you've got them air spaces. Now we can then come up here and say, okay, we've got come four blocks again. We have to hit this hitbox here. Not like that, because that'll cut it off. Okay, we'll just add it, add it here, and then we'll just come across and make sure we've got our little cage. So as you see, I'm going to now build the full cage around and show you what it should look like, and then we'll add the glass in, and then I'll show you how we make it into an XP farm. Okay, guys, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, back to the video, and as you can see, I've basically put that cage around here now, and they are trying to spawn. Now we need to set up this little switch. Very actually, very, very simple. This is probably the easiest bit. You just basically have to place, place, the, place this down. Now this red alloy wire can go for as long as you want it, I believe. Don't uh, question me on that. <laughs> so if we just want to run it down here and just run it straight along and then just test if it works. Do you work? Do you go straight? Yes, you do. Okay, so now that mob farm is deactivated. As you can see, if I just go into peaceful, like so, that's deactivated because it's got a red zone signal. So basically what I've done here is along the back, make sure you've got your four each way. Well, it's actually five 
from this block because you got your outer block. Okay, so make sure you got your four air blocks. And then at the back of here, just place your water sources along here. Then, this spot here, you'll have a single line. Okay, so now in that single line, you can basically just dig one block down, place a water source that side, place a water source that side. You'll see you have a dead spot in the middle. Hit that dead spot. This is where the skeletons will be coming down. The skeletons are coming along. Now this is basically, you could have it the other way, but we're going to be using a mealy turtle. We want to place our mealy turtle down straight here. So the skeletons are going to be coming down. La 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 la. We can then say, okay, well, we don't want to get damaged. So if we want to, we can... Obviously, that farm's going to come on now and the turtle code isn't on. So that's going to mess up a bit. As you, but you can see, it is working. And note, we are going to have to put glass in there so we're going to get damaged. Um, let me just get a sword just to kill these off. So this is essentially the turtle, or, or you could just have it like this. You could have a block here or with a hard slab on top of the block. And you can just kill them here if you want to. But note, they are going to be like normal. They're not going to be taking any damage. So this is where the turtle comes in. I'm just going to grab the code that I need to do it. Now, if you're bothered about the drops, the turtle will pick up the drops and he, when the turtle has picked up the drops uh, when he's running he'll then ditch them drops and put them straight in the back of him so basically poop them out uh, we can then say okay but we need to get our xp well that's simple enough believe it or not just leave the block here we need some glass so if we put our glass on top of the turtle like so we're not going to get damaged by him now. If we stand there when the script's running, it will hurt you. Uh, so, say, farm stop, loader XP, we come stand here, XP comes to us. Okay, now I'm going to get the code, finish putting the glass in here, and show you this working. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm now going to show you how to get this turtle attacking and working properly. If I just do Control v so if you copy this out of the description... Then just do control V, it'll then put it straight into your turtle. Then if you just press enter, it'll say downloaded as startup. Okay, now I believe, if I'm right, did we do control, what was it now? Control R, that just basically restarts, control R restarts the turtle. That is now in attacking mode. Let's just make sure we're on it, yep. Okay, so we're allowing them to spawn. We turn it off. As you can see, they are spawning. Yes, they are taking damage, sort of, when they come out. But that doesn't matter. If you don't want them to take damage, just at the top of the roof, just cover that in stone bricks. You can see, they're coming along now. And they're automatically getting killed. You see how he's hitting them? If you want to make this quicker, uh, you can just do... You can just have another turtle straight on top. Do your control V again. So you can have as many turtles as you want. So the quicker you want it, the more turtles. Just add that. Okay, we're downloading the startup. Control R. Okay, turtle is now attacking. The same again. It's working. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just click here. We're going to make, we're going to get a bed. Okay, we're going to put our bed straight here. Then I'm going to get a bucket of lava. Place a lot of the source. I'm, this is not for you having to guide off me. I'm just doing this because I want to uh, reset my levels. So we're going to need. We're killing ourselves. Did it? And I didn't. I didn't uh, think it did. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's not far from my spawn anyway. Uh, I'm going to put myself back in crazy so I can fly back over. And if you want the XP to be continuously. Um, we can just do this now. All our items will come back. Thank you. If you want the XP to be continuously farmed, you know, if I just search for this, I believe it's called Brain in a Jar. Get the Brain in a Jar, and if you want it to be collected, the Brain in a Jar will collect the XP. I'm pretty sure it does. 
bit of frame rate lag there. So as you can see, it's working, I'd say, fairly perfect. Are they attacking? Yep. They're attacking. Now, if you basically want uh, you to collect your items, underneath where this water source is here, place a... Um, I believe it's an, ob an obsidian pipe. Place an obsidian pipe there. That will suck your items. And you can just have some build crap parts, cobblestone parts, bring it into a chest. And well, you can do whatever you want then. So you can see this bring in a jar, it's collecting XP. We just we can just right click him. Or we can just stand here and get our, our, our XP. So we can just keep clicking him. He will store. 30 levels worth of XP. So the more of you, the more of these you have, or if you want to, I believe you can go into the form, uh, the formcraft uh, config and change how much XP it holds. So you can have it as infinite, to believe. Uh, but don't count me on that. So as you can see, this is working pretty perfect. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've uh, watched this video after receiving the link from the Soul Shard, how to make your tier five Soul Shards easy. Then thank you very much. If you haven't seen the Soul Shards video, there will be a link uh, up in the right hand corner around about this time if I remember to put it in. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is uh, the Soul Shards spawner done. And uh, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to ask any questions you want in the video. I am going to be working on more Soul Shards spawners. You can see at the moment, you know, they're all just lining there nice and easy. Uh, like I say, if you don't want them to get damaged, just take these off, but it doesn't really matter anyway, as it's not going to really die. Remember, bring in a jar, we'll take the XP. Like so. And anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and uh, want to see more from me, remember to comment, uh, leave your thoughts, and if you want to see more from me again, so it'll cut the subscribe button. Now I'm going to show it randomly, rambling, because I hate doing that bit. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.